Okay, let's look at let's take a look at another example of a four uh, input truth table and how we can get the boolean expression corresponding to that. And as we already said, to do that we have to draw a K map with sixteen squares, and we put two of the inputs on the vertical side and two of the inputs in the horizontal side. Just remember that uh, the order you write zero 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 one, and instead of writing one zero here, you write one one and then one zero. Okay. And you'll have to remember this order even while you fill up the outputs from the truth table into the k-maps, right? So this zero goes here, this zero goes here, and this one doesn't go here, but this one goes here, and then you this zero goes here, okay? And so on and so forth. So let's just fill this up. So you have zero, zero, one, zero, and then you have one, one, zero, zero. And then uh, at this point, we are looking at a and b equal to one zero, right? So you fill up this before you fill up this, so this one. So, so these values go into this last column. Uh, so you have one going here, one going here, and then this one, this zero goes at this point, right? Because a and b are one zero and c and d are also one zero here. So this goes at this point. So let's just write that. So you have one, one, zero, zero. And lastly, you have zero, one, zero, zero. Okay. Now what we want to do is we want to write a equation, uh, write, we want to form groups of the ones that are already there. So let's see what kind of groups that can be formed. We can form groups of either two, four, 8 or 16 or if you can't form groups then a, a 1 can just remain on its own also right so this is one of the groups that we can form this is one of the groups that we can form and this one you cannot form any group with now what about this one now you can't we can have this one grouped along with this one or you can have it along with this one and it doesn't matter which one you choose, right? So let's say I choose this group, okay? But don't do it both, right? You don't want this one, uh, this one to be grouped with this one and this one as well, because then you would just get an extra term for nothing, right? Because all the ones in the, in the K map are already covered by groups. So we can just uh, leave it here. And so let's write the terms for each of the uh, each of the groups uh, that we have plotted on the uh, K map. So F will be equal to what? So if you look at, let's start with this one. So if you look at this one and you want to write the uh, min term for it, it is going to be A bar, B bar, because A and B are zero, C, D bar. Okay, so you write, a bar, B bar, C, D bar, plus, let's write the equation for this group. In this group, C is constant while D is changing. So because D is changing, D will not appear in the term. You will have C bar, A bar, B, C bar, right? So you have A bar, B, C bar, okay, plus, Let's write the equation for this group. In this case, again, uh, D will disappear. You'll have C bar here and A, B bar on this side. So you have A, B bar, C bar. Okay, and the last term that we'll have is, is this group of uh, ones here. So in this case, the term for B will disappear. You'll have A because A is one, C bar because C is zero, and D because D is one. So you write A, C bar, D. And this gives you the uh, minimized Boolean expression corresponding to these truth tables.